Well, we're just in the field here and we're gonna check the uh, the windrows of the alfalfa that I raked last night. The top of the row here, way too dry to touch it because the leaves just, uh, just shatter. See that? Leaf shatter. But if you feel it on the top, it's good. But as soon as you go in a few inches, it's, uh, it's wet. A little bit wet. Let's see if we can find some wet stuff. See this wet stuff here? Oh yeah, it's wet. It's too wet. So I'm gonna tet it out tonight. See, this is pretty wet. But it's coming along. So the plan is to uh, to take two of these rows and tet it out with the new tetter. So it should go pretty quick tonight when the dew is. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna, I tried a little bit and uh, just fluffs up the row and exposes all the, the greener alfalfa, but that's still crunchy. But uh, this tetter can take uh, two rows at a time. So I'll do that tonight when the dew is on. So probably 10 o'clock tonight. I'll uh, turn it. It's a big tether, hey? You trying to turn it? That's how we're gonna do it. Just touch it lightly. Hard to turn. <laughs> oh, we Brian. Should we videotape Brian? He's coming with the tractor. Sure. We'll videotape him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The grass, the grass is going to be baled already. That grass is as good as baled. See, it's not, not as wet here. See, it's, it's crunchy even on the bottom. Feel that. That's, yeah. that, that's yeah. from the bottom. It's not that wet. It's as wet as it gets. That's not bad. Hmm. But look at this stem was on the... On the bottom here, look at that, it's, it's crackly dry. Yeah. But you definitely have to, to move it, eh? You definitely have to move it out. See, that's even not that bad, eh? But you can feel moisture in there. Oh, hell yeah. Boy, it's nice and flowery, huh? Didn't take it up too much. What's, what's crunchy? This stuff. You look. Yeah, it's it's nice and dry. How about this one? That's a grass. But it's also really dry. See that? It's crunchy. That's that's the stuff we're gonna bale tomorrow. This? Yeah. What time? Uh, lunchtime. Okay. Just gonna go check on the irrigation. We turned that on for the first time today too. May 30th. First time we got the gun going. Want to do a little trial, make sure everything all works. You want to go through the irrigation? Get all wet? Ah! It's wicked! Wow, that looks beautiful. Hey, it sure smells good too. That 
Let's go see, Joseph. Sure smells good with the rain, hey? Look at that. What a beautiful sight that is. You think it hits the uh, the end of the fence, Joseph? No, no, stay there, stay there. I wonder if it reaches the end. Let's go check. Corn sure looks healthy. We're gonna have to spray for weeds soon. Here's an alfalfa plant. Joseph, if you're gonna throw rocks, make sure you throw them out on the very edge of the field. Why? Because otherwise you're gonna have to move them again. Why? Because it's not out of the field yet. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You threw it right here. Look at this rock. It's got like silver in on it. Can I keep it? Yeah, if you want, you can keep it. But this rock here that you threw, that's not good. Leave it over there. You're gonna get wet, like really wet. <laughs> no, you're gonna get all muddy. Daddy? What? Daddy? If you want, you're gonna get soaked. It doesn't quite reach the end because there's some wind tonight. Normally it should have uh, reached the end, but we're probably about, I don't know, six to four rows. You can see it got a little bit of wet here. So here was like maybe three rows. Let's go before we get wet. Don't get me all muddy. Don't get me muddy. I think we're gonna back up. Otherwise we're gonna get all muddy. Just checking the corn. Sweet. Checking the irrigation, the hay. Last shift done. Last shift, wow. Yeah. So I was gonna see if you can help me tomorrow. Stop taping me right now. <laughs> well, just walking out to the field and it's about uh, 20 after nine and we are at 50, 55% humidity. So we're getting close to 60. So I'm gonna get an early start here. So I'm just gonna walk out there and flip those rows.
not too sure if you guys can see that but the row looks a lot more got a lot more air in there it's hard to see in the dark but it's probably sitting about about a foot and a half off the ground compared to uh, it laying pretty flat over there you can't see it's too dark it's kicking it up pretty nice Yeah, the trick tonight is to uh, stay right in the middle. So I gotta stay awake here. But uh, the trick also, or the key is, keep that RPM very low. Um, that's the lowest that this thing will go. But, uh, and also the ground speed is pretty, pretty slow as well. So far it's working out good. Well, just got done. I don't know if you can see the windrows, we'll drive right over top of one. We're right beside it. I'm not gonna drive on it, but uh, you can see it's fluffed up a little bit. It's 11.07, just got done. Put the tether folded up in the back there. Um, yeah, we started at, I think at 9.30, so an hour and a half we got the whole field done, so that's pretty good. Yeah, hopefully this stuff will bail tomorrow night. That'd be really awesome if we can bail it. But I have my doubts. Probably need a couple of days yet. But we'll see. We'll check it tomorrow. We've got the baler coming tomorrow to do the uh, the grass hay. And then after we're done the grass hay, we'll see if this stuff will bail. If not, then uh, we'll have to give it a couple more days. Joys of being a hay farmer. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. See ya. Good night.